before we bring up our featured act, I got these two guys that were like just loitering in the parking lot. I had to bring them in. They're actually a good friend of ours. We have Pete and Uncle Frank from Metal Noise TV. What's up, fellas? What's going on, brother? What's going on, Pete? What's going on, man? Good yeah. to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for meeting me, sweetheart. How are you? And these guys are as straight up as they come. So what are you doing here? I mean, there's a lot going on, a lot of things I hear. I see you at the Chiller Convention a lot. I know you got a, a rock TV show you, you're working on, and I go, Tell everybody that don't know who you guys are what you do. All right. We uh, started Metal Noise, uh, what, about a year ago or so? Yes, sir. Um, basically, to give local and national acts a place to do what they do, basically. Exactly. You know, help the bands. We help with a lot of unsigned bands and stuff, getting them going. We work with um, with Tim, with Clinton, the band you'll see coming up, Full Scale Riot. You know, we try to send bands to him with his production company, Trip Squad Productions, to try to see if they want a professional to help them record their demos, stuff like that. You know, and just give them a good environment, people they can trust, talk to. We help them get gigs. I work a lot with a lot of clubs and stuff like that, putting on shows. Um, got a lot of benefits. You know, I'll get calls from different people like Tattoo Tony and stuff. They're getting ready to do a benefit or something. He'll, Uncle Frank, I need 10, 12 bands. You know, okay, you know, what day, what time, you know, and yep. I'll start making phone calls and uh, set it all up, you know. You come across a lot of big celebrities. I see yes, you with Brett Michaels and uh, a bunch of other, I can't even get into it. Oh, yeah. Monty James Dio. Yes, sir. I mean, Dio's uh, awesome. <laughs> give us a fast, uh, who, who's like your favorite rock star you hung out with? Phew, man, there's so many of them that are really, you know, great guys. I mean, I've met Ozzy, Sabbath, you know, everybody in Kiss, um, mm -hmm. Slayer, you know, um, Come on, who else? Uh, did stuff with Nazareth, Great White, Docking. Listen goes on and on and on. I met you a long time ago from a, f a mutual friend that was ours on the black side. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. We became good friends from that. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't, don't know if we want to. We don't want to promote that though. You <laughs> know, bad thing is a good thing. Yeah, so I'm glad you know, we, we came out of that good, you know, I mean, we never had a problem before that. No. I didn't know you then. I know what all that was about, and I never got involved in it. I believe in treating people the way I want to be treated. Yeah. And as long as people give me respect, I give it right back. The whole music you know? business and entertainment business, it's all, uh, it's, it's a hard, it's a hard thing. Yeah, you know, we all, we all, we're all local guys here, you know, we ain't nobody, you know, I mean, a lot of people think we're semi-famous or whatever. I don't believe in that crap. You know, I'm just me doing what I do. I love music and I try to help promote. I work with you a lot of times. Yeah. You you call me up if you need a band or something. Exactly. I try to help you, I and we all try that. to help each other. It's one hand washing the other. And that's it. It's all about helping each other and promoting each other. So, exactly. Uh, anything coming up fast before I'm gonna have Uncle Frank. <laughs> And Pete, do the raffle giveaway. We got a couple of really good raffles to give away. So uh. yeah, basically uh, we're working on doing setting up the, the regular TV show, which we might have you producing. From what me and you talked about, and, uh, and if eventually, I can't do it full time, I'll definitely co-produce for you and, and do whatever I can for you. Definitely, I appreciate that. And uh, basically, what we want to do is once we get that going, that'll be an hour show, like a studio show, like this. And then I want to add in like an hour of footage that I do out at the clubs or out at the nationals, mix it all together, something like the old hard and heavy video magazine. Because exactly. nobody's tapping that market right now. No, nobody. So it's like if we can get our foot in the door, get a good distribution deal, who knows what can happen. And we give a lot of local bands a chance to be on TV or, you know, get their stuff out there with nobody else is really helping them. Because the scene right now is in a bad place. It seems like cover bands are doing better than original bands, and we're trying to... It's the truth. We're it's trying to bring thing. that original music back up and let people know there's a lot of great bands out it's there a today. It's everything I know. You know? I think the kids of today are coming around, but it's still going to be yeah. another five years, seven years, until it's back to almost where it was in the 80s, yeah. where people are going out to see a real band, and they'll, really, they'll pay to go see an original band. Right. They're gonna go play a cover band, and it's like you might as well put the jukebox on. Exactly. You know. Yeah. But listen, is there a website that people can your fans yeah, you can, can touch with? Yeah, you can check us out on MySpace, www.myspace backslash TV. All right, great. So listen, we got some raffles here. All right. Why don't you uh, you pick a couple over here? Who wants to do the read? Pete, you want to do the honors and read the numbers, brother? Forty-four, seventy-four, thirty-eight. We have a winner out there. Ah, there we go. Winner. What are we giving to Johnny P? All right, we got a full scale riot. You got a terrible Tim, and that's what you're getting. Here we go, brother. All right, next up we got 44, 74, 33. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Tony, the control room. Oh, the control room. All right. All right. Tony gets the Gemini DVD. 
Okay. Here you go, buddy. All right. Because I know you don't want no head banging. I know you want no head banging music over here. <laughs> you want another one? Yes. All right, what do we got there, Uncle? We got 44, 74, 36. Ah, oh, there we go. We got another winner. Who do we got? Who do we got? She got two. Oh, wow. Well, this is fixed. <laughs> Clean it up. Yeah, it's fixed. You like to pretend us? <laughs> All right, that's what you get. <laughs> and you get this guy right here. You got my friend Nick Pagatis. All right. Here we go. Well, let me get this one, okay? It's 447433. What happened, bro? You picked a bummer? <laughs> All right. <laughs> let me try Somebody's it again. Somebody's got to win. 447. Four, four, four. Oh, I got that. All right, All right. Come here. Line up here and claim you're good. <laughs> you got a terrible <laughs> Tim and a full scale riot. Very cool. All right. All right, I got a name that I'm going to pick. Well, I got it in my pocket. I want to, let me see. Uh oh. This, this one win, wins the book. All right. Eddie Koz in the audience? Eddie Koz, come on up here, buddy. Yeah! Hey, Eddie Koz, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Buddy, good luck. Thank you for coming to the show. Hang out. Say hello to your family for me. Mr. and right. Mrs. Cosgriff out there. We got two more. All right, we got actually one more because it's doing a double shot. We have an NYB CD, but that goes to the band. And okay. I got to give another NYB CD to someone else. So one more. Full scale riot. And a lollipop. Four, five, three. The last three numbers. Four, five, three. And she yeah, got it. All right, good. You get a lollipop. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> Come on, bring the ladies up here. All right. You get the lollipop in a full scale ride. Turn around so the camera can see you. Wave hi. <laughs> All right, Uncle Frank, thank you for coming thank down. You, hey, Pete, Johnny, take thanks, care. Man. Keep rocking, Appreciate guys. It. Nice to Stay you here. Where they come from? I have no idea. You know, they were eating all the food out there. I gotta stop bringing all that food. Seriously. <laughs>